it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to bring you guys along with me through my first week of classes at my new school. Today's my first day of classes, aka my first day of my junior year of college. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. A little backstory. I am a transfer student. I went to a different school for two years. It wasn't the place for me. So I transferred to a way smaller school closer to me. This weekend, I had orientation for the school and a lot of things happened but that's a video for another time aka probably next week's video because i have quite a lot to talk about just about my experience so far transferring but i wanted to wait to make that video until after my first week of classes i woke up really early today there's absolutely no need for me to wake up at 8 a.m because my first class today is at 11 but there are a few factors in why i woke up this early one my anxiety has been through the roof so i would rather be ready early than be running late because that would just add to the anxiety that i already have about starting at a new school. B, I really don't know when I'm supposed to leave. I'm a commuter and when I went to my old school, I was obviously not. Well, that's not obvious, sorry. I was not a commuter at my old school, so I would just walk to class and I got pretty good at gauging when I needed to leave and now I have no idea because it depends on traffic, depends on if I'm gonna get coffee, which I'm not sure yet, depends on the parking situation. I don't know how bad the parking is gonna be today. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so I'll probably talk to you guys again when I'm getting ready. <laughs> I got myself ready except for my makeup and now we're gonna do that part. Before I forget, I'm gonna put my favorite perfume on today because today's gonna be a good day. We're speaking it into existence. My favorite perfume is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I probably should make an updated makeup routine video because my last one that I made is not accurate anymore. Comment down below if you want me to make a new one. My anxiety has been so bad. Definitely like this is a huge change for me. I have five classes this semester totaling 15 credits. At first, I was scheduled for 16 credits, and then I realized I wasn't supposed to be in this one thing, so I had to get that off my schedule because I technically like placed out of that, so I didn't need to take that. I don't really know, honestly, like what exactly my plan is for today, except I have class, and then I have like a break, and I have another class, and then I'm done. I only have to go to school for three classes, and two of them are on Tuesday, Thursday, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do for lunch. I think there are places that I can like go to eat on campus. I don't have a meal plan because what would be the freaking point? Like, I live at home. I feel like this is such a strange thing, just going back to school and it not being at the school, you know, I've gone to for two years. Like, it's a really weird feeling. So I'm just going to catch up with you guys when I'm done getting ready. <laughs> It's not even sunny out. I don't know why I'm wearing my sunglasses. Probably a defense mechanism. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm about to head out. Probably not going to vlog on this camera when I'm actually on campus because, you know, it's my first day. I don't want to draw attention to myself and I already have riveting social anxiety about this whole experience and I feel like public vlogging would just make it worse. So I'm probably going to vlog with my phone to be discreet. So we're going to head out. But first... Okay, so I just got here. I pulled into the first parking place. Absolutely no parking. I am literally the farthest I think I could possibly be. Let's go. And this is when I started really freaking out because it hit me that I was in a new place and I was very uncomfortable. Okay, so I am currently sitting outside. Like a couple hours later, I got a sandwich from this place. Okay, my nose ring is annoying, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be discreet because my anxiety is really bad today. I'll tell you guys all about my day when I get home. I'm gonna eat my sandwich and probably watch some YouTube or something. I don't wanna try and do any more assignments. 
I don't want to do any more assignments because I really don't have anything due and I also didn't do well on my other ones because I have so much anxiety and I can't focus so I'm going to talk to you guys when I'm done my next mm -hmm. class. got home for my first day. I don't want to be over dramatic or dramatic at all, but that was really hard. My chest hurts because I had constant anxiety the entire day. I want to keep it real with you guys on this channel and you know that when I was in orientation, they told us about transfer shock and that's something that I'm going to talk more about in the video next week, probably when I talk about all my other experiences so far, but I definitely feel like I'm experiencing that and it's basically just like the initial shock of being somewhere new. New. I don't know. It was so weird. Like just being in a place where you don't know hardly anybody. Like I feel like at orientation, I was feeling more comfortable because it was such a small group of people. And then when you get opened up to the whole school and you realize that like you're an upperclassman and the people who have been there since they were freshmen that are in your major are all friends because they all know each other and you don't know anybody. It's just like really awkward. And I don't do well in those situations. I hate when there's like awkwardness or like awkward silence and feeling like I am out of place. But I felt like that today. I just want to pop in here and give a disclaimer that I'm absolutely not saying that this is going to happen to every single person who transfers. Everybody is different, but I am somebody who suffers from pretty bad anxiety as it is. I'm really not trying to be dramatic or say that everyone's going to experience this, but it's just how I personally felt. The good news is I am happy that I'm here. I know it's going to take adjusting. I think I did make the right decision and the first day is done. I've figured some things out. I've like figured out how to maneuver around. I figured out where where two of my classrooms are. I'm in the process of finding little places on campus to sit and study. I love doing that. Figured out how to go into the commuter parking lot the back way, but I just wanted to update you guys. Today was really hard, um, but tomorrow's gonna be better because the hardest day is over. I have faith in myself that I will adjust because I always do, but I just wanted to take a moment and tell you guys really my feelings <laughs> about today and keep it real with you because that's what I'm here for. I want to give you my real experiences because nothing is perfect and I will never sit here and try and act like everything is perfect because it's not. This is a struggle for me and if anyone's watching this who is currently a transfer student or thinking about transferring, like I feel like this, I need to be putting this out there for you guys. I just want to be somebody who you can look at and be like, yes, they struggled through this, but they persevered and they adjusted and I can too, that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to take the rest of the day. I have to get a book for one of my classes. Other than that, I think I want to start editing this vlog. I want to edit a little bit every day so that I don't have it all stuck at once. You know, I'm trying to figure out ways to manage my time, like with my new school schedule. Other than that, I'm probably just going to chill out and I deserve to just chill out. Today really was the hardest part, the first day, just showing up and doing it all for the first time and the initial like shock of being somewhere completely new. I think tomorrow is gonna be better. I'm gonna adjust and it's gonna be fine and I, I'm gonna be okay. That's my little ramble for right now. That's all I have for today and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good morning, it is Wednesday. This is a really uncomfortable situation. I'm just gonna like, all right, cool. Sorry that my glasses have a glare right now, but I'm sitting in front of the window because it is 7.06 in the morning and it's dark. It's very early, so I did not put my contacts in, obviously, because you can see the whole damn world in my glasses right now. And I also did not put makeup on because it is significantly earlier than I am used to waking up. I feel like I'm in high school again, besides all of the misery, because this is around the time I would be awake so I could leave to go to school. So I have an 8 a.m. today, and that is the only class that I have. So the plan for today is to go to class, obviously, and then I want to stop at Starbucks because I saw a sign that said they have like a pumpkin cream cold brew, and that just sounds like it's something I would really enjoy. So I'm gonna stop and get that on the way out. I'm like out of breath for no reason. All right, so let me show you my outfit today. This, what I'm wearing today, is a pretty typical outfit for me to wear to class. Like I feel like I wear different variations of this very regularly. My shirt, just this oversized, 
t-shirt. If you've been watching me for just longer than today, you probably have seen me wear this. This is probably one of my favorite t-shirts. I got this from the thrift store. My cardigan is from American Eagle. Just wearing these leggings from Aerie. These are my favorite leggings in the entire world. And then my Air Force Ones. Okay, so after class and after I get to Starbucks, I am gonna come home and edit. I have tons of time today, so I'm gonna come home and edit. And I don't have any like homework assignments or anything to do yet because it is the literal second day of school. So I'm gonna leave here shortly and I'll probably talk to you then. All right, I'm gonna head to school and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I got here like five minutes ago and I'm really early, but I got a good parking spot. So I'm really happy about that. This is gonna be a good day. We're starting it off on a good foot. Yeah, that's all for now. I'm gonna go to class in like five minutes. So I got out of my class. The professor seems really cool and nice. Like you guys just saw, I was at Starbucks and I got the pumpkin cream cold. Why can I? I keep wanting to call it pumpkin spice cold brew, but it's pumpkin cream cold brew. I got a venti. I was going to get it in my Starbucks reusable cup, but then I realized that the pumpkin part is cold foam. So I don't think that would make sense with the straw. I've never had anything with cold foam. So I did get just one of their cups, but I got one with a like strawless thing. I tried my best. I'm really excited to try this and it's really pretty. We're gonna do a little taste test. You guys know that I like Starbucks cold brew. That is literally the only thing I get at Starbucks. I also like pumpkin spice lattes, but I like iced ones. It's kind of combining the two things that I like the most from Starbucks. So I kind of have high expectations, but I'm a little bit nervous. Wow. I think I'm gonna start crying. This is a game changer. Okay, I'm gonna try and explain this taste to you as best as I can for anyone who hasn't had one of these yet. I know they're new this season. It tastes like the pumpkin spice latte, but if you've had a pumpkin spice latte, especially the iced ones, cause I don't really like hot coffee. I like the iced ones, but it tastes like it's more pumpkin-y flavor than it even is coffee. Like it's just very sweet. But this, the way that they mixed it with cold brew, which is very strong, I think that it balances itself out so well. You can still taste the coffee because the cold brew was so strong, but the pumpkin cream is sweet. It still has that pumpkin taste, but it's not as pumpkin sweet as the pumpkin spice latte, if that makes sense. It's a really nice blend of the two things that I really like. You guys know I'm a Dunkin' girl through and through. Don't even worry, but I do think Starbucks cold brew is better than Dunkin' cold brew. Let's rate this out of 10. One second. 10. I'm about to drive home. Oh my God, like I can't get over how good this drink is. Okay, so thank you for listening to that. That ends this segment and I'll see you guys when I get home. Good morning, it's Thursday. As you can see, I'm in a great mood. Here's a few reasons why. It is pretty much 10 in the morning right now, almost. So I got to sleep in today, but more importantly, today, my friends, is one of the best days of the year. Today is the first day of the college football season. <sighs> okay, everybody please stay calm. This is serious, as you can see. Clemson plays tonight. The only issue that I have run into with this so far today is that Comcast does not carry the ACC network and that is the only channel that the game is streaming on today. So, of course, I found a way around that because Hulu plus live TV does have ACC network. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna sign up for a Hulu plus live TV free trial, watch the game, and then delete the free trial tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do to get around that because you absolutely thought I wasn't gonna watch the game. Like, they thought they had us, but they didn't. So that's tonight. Gives me something to look forward to. Two classes today. I have to get a book from the bookstore because I bought a book the other day. I had to go to the bookstore and pick it up. I think after my first class, I'm gonna go visit my grandparents because they live right down the road from my school. I think today is gonna be a much better day than Tuesday because this is not the first day anymore. I've already been to both of these classes. So the initial shock, is out of the way. So today is gonna be a better day. It is also sunny outside and really nice. So thank God. The other day, on the first day of school, it was overcast and it wasn't sunny and it was just kinda... But today, sun is out, the weather is nice. All right, so I'm just gonna finish my makeup and that's all I have to do to get ready. 
Okay, so I decided to head over a little early today. Not even that early at this point, like 10 minutes early, but I wanted to stop at the bookstore and get my book before class. So I could just get that out of the way. I'm about to head to school and I'll see you guys when I get there. I have arrived. Once again, I'm parked very far away. I think I'm just gonna get used to it that on these days, parking doesn't exist here. Okay, so I just got out of class and then I stopped at Starbucks. I ordered the same thing as yesterday, but it basically didn't look the same when it came out. So yeah, the other one, the one yesterday was sweeter. So I'm a little bit confused. And I got my favorite double smoked bacon cheddar egg sandwich from Starbucks. I'm about to go see my grandma, but I just wanted to say in my class today, I'm wearing my Clemson shirt, obviously, and a girl turned around and said something to me about it. And like now I have someone I can talk to in that class, whereas before I didn't. And like I noticed I wore a shirt that said Boston University on it this past weekend to orientation and some guy saw it and commented on it sorry if the air conditioning is really loud by the way it's really freaking hot in this car right now but i think that a tip is to wear shirts from different colleges or like that say different places on them because that could definitely be like a connection point for you and someone else because this girl knew someone on clemson's team i just think that's like a really good thing to do if you have shirts from other like from different cities or colleges or whatever it's just like a conversation starter a good conversation starter so that's a tip i also had a lot better of an experience in that class today just because i felt more comfortable it wasn't as scary because the initial shock of being in that class on tuesday was really scary because it was my first class at this school but i need to stop talking now because it's already 12 30 and i have another class today and i still want to go see my grandma so i'm gonna stop talking now but i just wanted to say that all right so i'm about to go there and i'll talk to you guys later two hours later okay so last i saw you i think i was at my grandparents house i didn't vlog after that because i thought i was gonna be late to my class and then by the grace of god i found a parking spot literally right by the building i had to be in that was a little bit hectic but i just finished that class and i got out half an hour early so that's really exciting so i'm done for the day i'm about to go run some errands and then i'm finally going home and i can finesse this hulu plus live tv thing so i can watch the game tonight so it's my update for now and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit good morning you guys it's Friday. Right now it is 7.14 in the morning and I'm about to leave to go to school. I'm gonna drive past Duncan and see if there's a lot of people. If not, I'm gonna stop and get that because it's Friday and I feel like I should do that. That will be fun. I got my glasses yesterday from the eye doctor. I literally just got my new prescription put in these lenses that I've been wearing for a little bit. They're from iBuy Direct, if anybody was wondering, and they are blue light protected. This is the time in the year where it is very cold in the morning, and then by the afternoon, it's like scorching hot. Like right now, it says it's 55 degrees, so I'm wearing a sweatshirt with my outfit. But I have a t-shirt under this because it's supposed to be 87 degrees today. I just don't know how to dress in situations like that. I only have one class today, then I have a meeting with an advisor so I could talk about getting my gen eds from Temple to count for the gen eds at my new school. I'll explain more about that situation in my transferring video because that's a whole thing that's been going on. And then I'm gonna go get lunch with my friend at Chipotle later and then that's really it. I'm about to head out and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh my God. Um. Okay, just got here, got a good parking spot. I'm um, about to go. I'm gonna see if I can get Starbucks before class because I went past Duncan and the line was really freaking long. I should have expected that because it's morning rush and it's a Friday. It's a really nice day out today. I love the weather right now, but when it hits 87 degrees later, I'm not gonna be a fan. I'm about to go to class. Okay. six-piece spicy nugget that's it thank you I just got home not too long ago and I am now done with my classes for the week and oh does it feel good I forgot how good this felt I also have a three-day weekend because it is Labor Day I think that this video has been quite a roller coaster, but definitely a progression. I can sit here and tell you with confidence that since I filmed this sitting down segment on Tuesday, on my first day of class, I feel so much more comfortable. I feel like I'm slowly getting back into it. I mean, I know it's only been four days, but the first day, like I said, is always the hardest, I feel like. And just the first step in like a new direction is hard and 
challenging and confusing and uncomfortable but i know that i made the right choice and i'm excited to continue going to school where i am i feel like being away at school like taught me a lot and especially being in a place that i wasn't comfortable and wasn't happy and just learning from that i wouldn't say that i wish i hadn't gone to my old school because if i hadn't gone there i wouldn't have known that i didn't like it and at least i gave it a shot you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day and i think that is what i did i feel like at the beginning of this video i've already edited the first two days and at the beginning of this video i was I'm just happy that I have felt a change from the first day of class to now. I mean, transferring is definitely a big transition and it's uncomfortable, but I think anything that is going to change you has to make you uncomfortable first because growth doesn't happen inside your comfort zone. I just wanted to sit down and kind of recap and just, you know, talk about how I'm feeling today as opposed to how I was feeling on Tuesday and just kind of end this vlog on that note. That is the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you stayed until this point in the video comment down below i'm a real one because you're a real one if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already i post a new video every single sunday that's it that's it for the first week of the semester of my junior year of college at my new school again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye